so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is a very on mass code on this side so today we are going to solve yet another problem of gfg potd the problem of the day that is minimum points to reach destination minimum points to reach destination so the problem is very simple it asks you to reach from this point of the grid that is 0 comma 0 to this point that is the bottom right that is m minus 1 comma n minus 1 point for an m by n matrix for an m by n matrix you have just to reach from this position to this position now there can be multiple paths to reach this position to this position that is this can be like this something like this um, something like this right there can be multiple paths right okay now you can see the values as minus 2 minus 3 3 minus 5 minus 10 and many more right the question says that the player starting at 0 comma 0 has some health h right and suppose he takes this path that is minus 2 then minus 3 then 3 then 1 then minus 5 okay so his health will be at this point his health will become h minus 2 at this point it will become h minus 2 minus 3, that is h minus 5 at this point it will be h minus 5 plus 3 that is h minus 2 at this point h minus 2 plus 1 that is h minus 1 and at this point it will be h minus 1 minus 5 that is h minus 6 okay now it is given to us that a player can only move can only move first in the right direction or in down direction he can only move towards the right or towards the down that is given to us second thing is it is given that a player can only move if his health at any cell at any cell is greater than zero is greater than zero okay so you can see to follow this path to follow this path you can see what is the minimum health it is the minimum of h minus 2 h minus 5 h minus 2 h minus 1 h minus 6 so h minus 6 is gonna be the minimum so minimum health is h minus 6 this h minus 6 should be greater than equal greater than zero so h is greater than 6 so h should be h h minimum is 7 right h minimum is 7 for this path if i pursue this path which i have circled down i will have to have my initial health is 7 to reach the end point that is to reach the bottom rightmost right similarly if i start from this point and follow this path i would require a health of if my health is h here then it will be h minus 2 here h minus 5 similarly and it is minus 10 so h minus 15 h minus 15 plus 30 that is h plus 15 and h minus h plus 15 minus 5 is h minus h plus 10 you can see among all the circled edges minimum health is h minus 15 so h minus 15 is gonna be greater than 0 to follow this path successfully right and it will be h greater than 15 so h minimum is 7, uh, 16 in this case right so which one is minimum 7 is actually minimum and the question says minimum health points to reach destination so my answer if I uh, consider these two cases only, it will be 7. Okay, it will be 7. There are multiple uh, cases like we discovered, right? We discovered like this also. This was the one case. This was another case. This was another case, right? There are multiple uh, constants also, right? Because the M and N are not stagnant. They are multiple. Like M can be 100 into 100 matrix also, right? Those there will be many cases, right? Okay. So we have to provide the minimum health required at this point to reach this point safely how can we do that so now many of you will say many of you will say it is very simple uh, recursion problem i will explore all the paths explore all the paths right so if i draw the matrix again it was as minus 2 minus 3 3 minus 5 minus 10 1 10 30 and minus 5 right this was the matrix given to us you say you will explore all the paths let's say if i explore this path you will say you will calculate the sum of all the elements so if you calculate all the sum it will be minus 2 plus minus 3 that is minus 5 plus uh, 3 that is minus 2 plus 1 that is will be minus 1 it will be minus 6 right if i explore this path it will be minus 2 plus minus 3 it will be minus 5 minus 15 plus 30 that is 15 minus 5 that is uh, 10 right this is 1 this is 2 another path is this one which is minus 2 minus 12 minus 11 minus 5 that is minus 16 
you will say that for this I will require 7 because h should be greater than 0 so we equated that h should be greater than 6 for you this you require uh, h should be greater than minus 10 so it is actually if you start with 0 you can reach here right for this you will require h should be greater than 16 so minimum 70 you will say that 0 is actually the minimum among all these three so 0 should be my answer but here is your what you are overlooking right here is what you are overlooking if I follow this path this path was this this then this then this then this then this if I start with 0 right if I start with 0 or if I start with let's say 1 also if I start with 1 also for your save so 1 minus 2 it becomes minus 1 here then I go to there a minute if I start with minus 1 it is not happening if I start with minus 1 it is not happening okay let's suppose it if we start with uh, 4 if I start with 4 4 minus 2 is 2 goes here 2 minus 3 is minus 1 again not happening if I start with 10 10 minus 2 is 8 8 minus 3 is uh, 5 5 minus uh, 5 goes here 5 minus 10 is minus 5 again stop again stop why is it stopping why is it stopping we, we, we just saw that at, at the end current health is gonna be 10 so we can uh, safely say that I should be greater than equals to 0 so I should be equals to 1 but when we are trying the values it is not happening why is it not happening so we just discovered if I start with h here it will get to h minus 2 here h minus 3 here h minus 13 here h plus 20 uh, h plus uh, 17 here and h plus 12 here among these values that is h h minus 2 h minus 13 h plus 17 h plus 12 what is the minimum value possible it is h minus 13 so this to be true h should be greater than 13 right because in the path also the health should not drop down less than equals to 0 we should have to take that care also right so we have to use recursion with some changes so what will my recursion look like recursion is the brute force approach for my solution then we will use the memoization then we will we will use the tabulation right okay so recursion i will keep a global variable as minus 1 in i right minimum answer possible okay i will make a function solve for recursion i will take the row number i will take the column number plus with that i will take my sum which is the current sum which is the current sum that is h plus 17 h plus 12 h plus 13 etc etc and i will take the minimum that, that is mini what is mini doing mini storing the h minus 13 term right up till all the steps how many steps have been done okay what i will do is if my row is equals to m minus 1 and my call is equals to equals to n minus 1 that is i have reached the bottom most right post point my answer will now become max of uh, yeah, my answer will now become max of my existing answer right and uh, sum plus array of row call and we need both of this minimum right both of this minimum because mini is the current that mini is the term which we are currently we are currently looking at that for, for this path i will require at least minimum health right okay otherwise if this cell is not in the grid we will discard it if row and column are exceeding value of grid that is it is not in the terms of um, number of rows and number of columns we will return it simply we will turn zero right otherwise i will make the down uh, rightward call first so for the rightward call what i will do is i will say if row if call plus one sorry if call plus one is less than n and my visited array my, I, why am i keeping, keeping visited array because i have to see the paths right i have to see the paths. So i will see it is not going something like right this right so for that I will say if visited then if visited of raw call I will just call the solve function right I will call the solve function and I will update my sum as well as my mini and same for the uh, down and I will at last return my answer this is the recursion so I am not explaining it very much deeply because I don't have time today I am busy in the hackathon hope you understand that so let us just come to the tabulation approach right tabulation approach 
the tabulation approach would look something like I will take my DP array and calculate it to be size of MN right after that my DP of M minus 1 n minus 1 that is my final point is gonna be like array of m minus 1 n minus 1 if this value is greater than 0 in that case it has to be 1 otherwise it has to be absolute value of this point arr of m minus 1 n minus 1 absolute value plus 1 why are we doing plus 1 because it was greater than 0 so to make it greater than equals to 0 i will have to add 1 here right okay so array of absolute plus one right we have to add if here okay after that i will start uh, evaluating from the last column up to the first column so for i going from m minus one up till zero m minus two sorry because we declared m minus two uh, m minus one recently so for j going from yeah dp of i with n minus one is gonna be equals to max of dp of i plus 1 n minus 1 that is the row just afterwards right minus points of i n minus 1 comma 1 why are we keeping maximum of with 1 because this term because of this thing right and then we will go for the each and every column so for int j going from n minus 2 up till 0 dp of m minus 1 this is another loop this is another loop right this is another loop right so for int j equals to max of dp of m minus 1 j plus 1 minus points of points is array here minus points of m minus 1 j with 1 right okay and then I will use a nested loop to fill the between between terms, right? So for i going from m minus 2 to 0, j going from n minus 2 to 0, right? Minimum points on exit, right? What I will be doing is minimum points on exit, right? What I will say is I will have to return minimum of dp of i plus 1 j with dp of i with j plus 1 right and i will have to take its max that is max with 1 why 1 again that condition this is my final answer that my cell is to, uh, giving me and i will have to save with 1 and at last i will say return dp of 0 0 so what i am doing is i plus 1 j and i i, I comma j plus 1 are actually this cell for if i am here then i will have to see here right and take these values and then add them up and then see plus one and after that i will say uh, what do we say dp of zero zero because that will be the term from the, this position to this position right okay so hope you understand the uh, concept and let's try to code now so here is the code guys so sorry i will not be able to code live today so it is taking my dp array as answer and i have declared the base case as m minus one n minus one if it is greater than zero initialize it with one and if it is less than zero initialize with value absolute plus one then i am taking the last rows and the last column so this is for last row and this is for last column and then i am saying answer of i plus one and minus one with the value in the array given to us and with maximum of one what is maximum one if this is negative i will take one okay now i will have to fill the between values also so between values i am taking the right and left right and down uh, for the concentration and then i'm just uh, adding my given value at the matrix and then taking the max with one right so this is my operations here and at last i will return zero zero because this is my uh, value for the zero zero right types okay and then i will just compile and run it so hope it will work and so sorry to not code it live and giving a short explanation hope you understand we'll try to give a better explanation from tomorrow so this you can see running fine and thank you for watching my video we we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and certainly new energy thank you for watching have a nice day